Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Kitty. Look at you. She is enjoying life. Kitty, do a flip. Do a flip. She did it! So today, since some of you out there might be missing science class because school is canceled because of this like whole quarantine thing, I feel that it's partly my job to make up for some of that. So I'm going to be testing more science experiments. Make sure you guys are taking notes because all this material will be on the test. That'll be due next week, top of the description. I'm going to begin with this one, which I've actually already done it on my channel, but the video I did it in, it's actually no longer on my channel because YouTube removed it and striked my channel because of that video. It was a video I did way back, I think in 2017, and I was talking about dumb internet challenges, and because it showed a child doing a dumb internet challenge, and I was saying how bad it is and you shouldn't do it, because it still showed the kid, apparently that's enough for YouTube to strike my channel, even though the rules changed in the last years, but oh, that, whatever, I'm not mad. And that's besides the point. I just want to redo the experiment because I think it was the most, one of the coolest looking ones I've done. And it's a pretty simple one. All you need to do is add water. Probably don't do this one at home also. You need to add dish soap and then just mix it around a little, just finger it a little. After that, you take a can of butane and just kind of. And then all you do, I'm a little nervous, but you take some of the bubbles and Whoa! See, this is why I wanted to redo this one because it's so fun. This is, I could literally just do this all day. Oh my God, that one is big. Not gonna lie, that stayed a little too long on my hand. I felt the heat. I think it, oh my God, it burned my finger hair off. Whoa! <laughs> okay, Kitty was not a fan of that experiment. Well, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not even being entertaining at this point. I just keep doing it. And moving on to the next one, I'm gonna be honest with this one. I don't know if it's real or if it's like, it's just a troll. Here it is, you have a cup and you put a ping pong ball in it and then it fails. But then apparently if they had, add water to it and then drop it, it it's gonna stand up and the ball is gonna come up. Do you know what I mean? It seems like a setup. They want me to drop, they want me to fill a cup up with water and they want me to drop the one that's full. It doesn't seem like it's gonna work, but I guess that's why I'm here to try it. I'm just gonna do everything they do in the video, even the empty one. It worked! It still got water everywhere and my downstairs neighbors probably still hate me, but it, it worked. Science. Being in quarantine, that was probably the coolest thing I've seen in a week. Moving on, this one, this is gonna be a quick one that I just wanna test. And the goal of this experiment is to take this can and crush it, but without touching it. And all we'll need for this one is this fire torch and cold water, which I have right here. Okay, this one you can't blink, is gonna happen fast. Think all you do is pretty much heat up the can till I don't know, till it's hot inside. That's gotta be, that's gotta be good enough, right? And then immediately. Okay, I was gonna say you immediately put it in the cold water, but that didn't work. I think I was doing it wrong. I think you needed to put a little water in the can. So I have no doubt it's gonna work now. Now I think what I'm doing wrong is that patience is key. I need to heat it up slowly. It worked! See, I knew it. See guys, if something ever doesn't work out in life, it, you just gotta be patient. So I guess it does this because when there's hot air and then it goes directly into cold, it, like the air pressure, I don't know how to scientifically explain. Here's it explained scientifically in a British accent. When the can is plunged into cold water, the water vapor condenses, leaving the pressure inside the can much less than outside the can. As the water boils, molecules bouncing off of the inside of the can create the forces pressing outward. These balance the atmosphere pressing inward. 
And moving on to the next one though, this one I'm gonna have to come back to later, so I might as well get it started now. And what this experiment is, we're gonna take this can, we're gonna try to make it transparent so we could see what's inside the can. I don't know how scientific this really is because all we're gonna be doing is putting the can in drain cleaner. But I mean like a reaction should happen, so I think that's scientific enough. I hope it does I hope it just doesn't eat away at plastic. It doesn't, right? Nah. And then all you do is put the can in. I actually think I filled it up too much. I need to pour some out. I need to pour one out for the homies. Okay, there, that's better. And then all you do is just put the can in the drain cleaner. Okay, this experiment did not go to plan. It's actually the next day after what happened, I didn't feel like filming. And instead of the experiment actually working, which I'll show you on the screen what it was supposed to do, instead it exploded all over my kitchen and on my floor. The whole can exploded. I, I heard it from this room. But this is not as cool it was supposed to look. Maybe it's because I used beer instead of soda. So maybe that's why it exploded. Or it could very much be because I bought the drain cleaner from the dollar store, so. The next one I wanna try out, I don't know if you could tell, but it's actually not the same day. I was editing this video and it was coming out kinda of short and I just needed to get it over the 10 minute mark to, so I could put another ad in it. So I'm doing another. No, I'm just kidding. I was actually editing the video and because two of the experiments I tried failed, the video was coming out short, so I wanna do another one to make it feel more complete. And with this one, I actually saw it on Instagram. I should be able to blow out this candle, but without actually blowing. So I can't blow anything or anyone. It should happen when you do actually a pretty common experiment that I actually think I tried out once. I actually blew up a condom with the baking soda and vinegar experiment. But if you don't explode it and you take the gas that fills up, if you take that and pour it on a candle, it should take it out. This is a good experiment to do because I'm always doing stuff that like creates fire. So I think I should do an experiment that like gets rid of fire. Add the baking soda to the vinegar. Hopefully, God damn it! don't, don't overflow. Damn it, I did not know it was gonna overflow that much. Let's see if it works though. It blew it out! The cost of it though, my floor now smells like vinegar. So now that I know it works, doing one candle looked all right. I wanna see if I can do it with a bunch of candles lit up. And I think the hardest thing is gonna be to pour the gas, but not pour the liquid that's inside. So I'm just gonna add a lot of vinegar. Maybe not too much though, right? I think it's better to underdo it than overdo it like I did last time. Don't, don't overflow. Then I guess just sprinkle some of this in there. Okay, now I guess just pour it. It actually did it! I am so good at this experiment, science! Finally, we have one last quick one that I want to test. The thing about this one is that it should visually look cool, and I'm a fan of it because it involves fire. So from the one video I watched, I think you need a glass bottle that's kind of thin at the top. Just like in the video, they just put rubbing alcohol. I think that's it. In the video, they just set it on fire. Yeah, I was not expecting you to make that sound. I thought it was gonna explode. Let me do it again, but with more alcohol. I got it on the outside of the bottle, that's not good. Okay, here we go. What the f I just made music. Okay, anyway, I think that's all the science experiments I'm gonna do today. I hope all of you learned something from this video. I feel like next time I do science experiments, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing because I feel like I've done a lot of the common ones that the ones that are left are crazy and I'm kind of scared of. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Your test, like I said, will be in the description. I hope all of you are staying safe during this really weird time. Ah, uh, but I think that's all I wanted to say for this video. So thank you all for making it to the end of this video. I love you guys and hopefully I'll see you next time. Kitty, do another flip. She's swimming in the carpet.
Whoa! She did it. Great job, Kitty.